Hello my friends, and thank you for stopping by. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, as uh, it's just going to be something a little bit new to me, I think. But uh, I hope you all enjoy. I'd like to wish you a happy holiday season to all of you who do celebrate the holidays in the next coming days, or the holidays that have already come and passed. So, for today, uh, I will be helping you ground yourself by walking you through a little story. So you are more than welcome to close your eyes for this, as this will be mostly a spoken video. And just get relaxed into whatever position you feel best in, and listen to my voice and follow the instructions I give you as uh, I go through the story, okay? I just want you to feel relaxed and at ease, as I know the holiday season can be stressful or uncomfortable for some people, so I hope this does bring you some comfort. Okay, so now that your eyes are closed, I want you to imagine yourself as a child again, if that is a safe time for you. Uh, you are more than welcome to stay an adult if you'd rather be that age. But imagine yourself the way you'd like to be, uh, either as a young child or adult, and uh, imagine yourself in a bedroom that you feel safe in, whether that was a childhood bedroom or the current one that you have. But imagine that you live in a house with more than one story. So, you are trying to sleep on Christmas evening, but you are too excited. Your youthful spirit is just a little bit too restless to find the comfort of sleep yet. I want you to imagine getting out of bed and putting your feet on the ground. You are not wearing any socks or shoes yet, so you just have your bare feet on the ground. What type of floor do your feet gently press into? Is it a hardwood floor? A tile floor? Is it carpet? I want you to think about how that feels in between your toes and on your feet. Is it warm? Is it cold? How does the rest of your body feel? Are you wearing long pajamas or are you not very uh, heavily clothed? Are you a warm sleeper? And if so, I want you to start to feel the light chilled air the air that swirls around you when you come out of bed in the middle of the night, the way it's a little bit more chilly, especially in the winter time. So now that we are a little bit cold, go ahead and turn to your left and find a sweater. A sweater or a robe or something warm to put on. It's seated there. What does it look like? Is it a sweater like a turtleneck? Is it a long robe? What color is it? Does it have many colors? Is it like a terry cloth texture or a woven sweater or is it more thin? What is your sweater like? Now that you've identified it, go ahead and put it on. Go ahead and put on your sweater or your robe your warm clothing and bundle yourself up so that you do not get too chilly as you make your way out of your room. Now that we're standing, you're going to pass by a mirror. What do you see? Do you see a adult version of yourself? Or is it the young you? What do your pajamas look like? Are they festive, or are they just your regular old pajamas? Are you tall or short? Now, as you move out of your bedroom, make sure to move quietly and watch your feet put themselves one in front of the other, and do it with very good control. So, one foot in front of the other as you leave your room, as to not wake anybody else that might be sleeping in the home, not out of fear, but just so that you can have this experience by yourself. 
So you walk down the staircase. Is it grand? Is it a staircase you recognize? Or is it a smaller staircase? Maybe it has carpet. Maybe it's old and wooden and creaks as you go down. As you descend into the main floor of the home, you are greeted with the smell of a Christmas tree. It's piney and floral almost, that earthy smell. It's sweet and minty almost. Can you smell the Christmas tree from here? Very good. To your right is a window that leads out into the street that of which you live. Can you see outside? It's quite dark, but are there Christmas lights out? Are there lights on in any other houses nearby that you can see? Or is it a dark street where you can just barely see the snow falling to the ground? Very good. Now we're going to turn a corner and make our way to the living space of the main floor. In that living space, you're going to find a Christmas tree. Is it a real tree? Is it a real chopped down Christmas tree or is it a plastic one? Very good. And on the Christmas tree, it is lit. No other lights are on in the house except for the Christmas tree lights. When they sparkle and shine, are they all one color? Or are they all rainbow different colors? Can you see them? Very good. And what adorns the top of the Christmas tree? Some families put a star, some put an angel, some put something that's very specific to their family tradition. Do you have one in mind that you can see? What does it look like? What color is it? Very good. And now we look at the tree itself. Are there ornaments on it? Are they very eclectic? Different types of ornaments that one might collect throughout a lifetime? Or are they very specifically colored, like silver and gold balls, or perhaps just some tinsel and particular ornaments that go together? Some people like an organized tree, some like a tree that reminds them of good memories from the past. Underneath the tree, there are presents. Presents that are silver and gold and green and red, and they all have little bows and little tags. I want you to go find one that is yours. As you get closer to it, I want you to just be able to know that it is your present. It's just for you. You haven't even looked at the tag yet, but you know that this present is made for you. What shape is the present that you have found under the tree? What is it wrapped in? Is it fancy, shiny wrapping paper with a minimal style print? Is it a Hallmark style wrapping paper that has Santa's or reindeer on it? Or is it perhaps newspaper or brown paper? Just like a little parcel. Which do you think it is? Which do you see? What shape is the present? Is it a perfect square? Is it shaped like something particular? Like a bike? <laughs> or an instrument? What do you think the present is shaped like? And when you touch the present, I want you to feel the wrapping paper in your fingers as you trace it. Can you feel the wrapping paper? Very good. Very good. I want you to just breathe in and see if you can smell that fresh Christmas tree smell. Very 
you're just having this moment for yourself. When you turn around, there is a fireplace that is at a dull roar, not an unsafe <laughs> sized fire, but just barely still going, and it will go out soon as the night goes on. You can hear it crackle as you get closer to it. Now I want you to put your hands in front of the fire and see if you can feel the heat coming from it. Think of your hands. Can you feel the very dull heat that comes from the fire? Feel it start in your fingertips and go through your palms and let the warmth drift through your arms and into your chest and feel that magical Christmas fire warmth that is a joy to experience. As the fire crackles on, just above is a mantle. Is the mantle made out of stone? Is it wood? What is the mantle made out of? Perfect. And on the mantle, you see a stocking with your name on it. It's a knit stocking that someone made for you. You can reach out and touch it. It almost doesn't seem real how beautiful it looks in the firelight, and you can see a little snack popping out. You hesitate for a moment, but then decide that you'll have yourself a little midnight Christmas treat just for yourself, just in this moment, because it'll make you happy. You pull out the candy. And you take a bite. What was your candy? Was it a candy cane? Was it chocolate? Was it sweet or sour? Can you taste the flavors in your mouth as you chew the candy? Can you taste the candy? Now, you will head back the way that you came and stand and look at the beautiful picture of the Christmas tree and perhaps a couch and the fire. Well, it still burns just a little bit as you descend back into the hallway to get back upstairs. I want you to turn and look at that scene one more time. I want you to look at the tree and then the fire and then the tree, and then the fire, and then take in the entire scene, noting if there is a couch or a chair, perhaps remnants of a celebration from earlier that evening, or if it's just the tree and the fire and nothing else. How many presents did you see? Perfect. As you turn away, I would like for you to look out the window one last time. And in the distance, you can see the stars peek through the clouded sky. And now you will make your way back up to your room, slowly, one foot over the other as you have before. You make your way back into your room, and just as you're about to close the door, you hear something 
come from the roof. Little bells and little clumpy feet pass through the roof just above you. I want you to place yourself back into your bed. Take off the sweater that you had so delicately put on and feel the warmth of your blankets rejoin you as you find yourself falling back into a deep sleep. Okay, my friends, hopefully this was a fun little exercise for you and you can feel a little bit more at ease and find rest come easier to you. Happy holidays once again, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for stopping.